I'll never forget the first time I saw a snow bike four years ago. There we were playing in the powder of BC and our mountain sleds and then through the trees came this weird sound followed by a bizarre sight. The snow bike era had arrived. The low end sound of that 450 four stroke bike engine was completely different than the high revving sound of our 800 two strokes. So much has changed since that first encounter. The technology and the number of riders has really brought this new form of winter recreation to an explosive level. The latest craze is not the first attempt at bringing single ski action to the snow. Vintage fans will remember the petite Chrysler Snow Runner of 1980 and in the 1990s we saw the much larger Boyvin Snowhawk appear on the snow. Both were based on the idea of a single ski snow machine that rode more like a bike than a sled. As is so often the case, the timing was not right, but years later we see that concept taking off. In just a few short years the snow bike revolution has gone wild. In area, one rider or one manufacturer that is fueling this overnight success. Interest and support is huge and widespread for this type of winter recreation. There are several reasons for the success of this latest winter craze, but probably the most significant is the versatile fun factor. These things can go anywhere, but in a different way. Talking with the many snowmobile riders who have made the move to one ski, we have always found it interesting that the fun factor plays such a strong part of the rider experience. Where they play and how they play is an interesting study. Going back to my first encounter, I noticed that the bikes avoided the switchback trail network up the mound and instead opted to carve a straight line up the vertical course through the trees. They don't turn well on hard packed, is what I was told. Watching them disappear into the trees, I realized that missing out on the hard packed trail ride was not a concern. The idea of riding among trees is something I still have a tricky time getting used to. In my experience, any time I've ended up close to trees, I've made a huge blunder. For the folks that ride snow bikes, the trees are more like playful pylons to carve around and to jump through. They are a reference point for the fun factor that we often hear them referring to. Talk to any snow bike rider and they'll tell you about their ability to go where sleds cannot. They can thread a needle that would get a sled caught up. They will also tell you it is not a matter of which is better, it's just that they are different and the rider has to decide which ride is for them. Another interesting observation is how many riders flip back and forth between their sled and their snow bike. There are differences with range, speed, and climbing ability, but they share the common goals of having fun in the backcountry. The deep snow, the jumping, the wandering, and meandering through the powder, it all adds up to the fun factor that these great machines generate. Like the early years of snowmobiles, what started with a few became the many. More riders meant more companies getting involved. Since those first sightings, the numbers have gone crazy for orders. For this year, snow bike kits like Moto Tracks, Timber Sledge, Crazy Mountain Extreme, Yeti, Snow Tech, and Frozen Moto are being joined by Camzo and their offering. Along with these kit options, Articat has their complete SVX 450 package in the works, so the competition is really heating up for this winter sport. The snow bikes are here to stay. They have proven their place in the backcountry powder. Some may see them as snowmobile competition, but most see them as a way to supplement the motorized winter recreation industry. Along with sledders switching up their ride, many summer bike riders are now finding a year-round activity that keeps them biking 12 months of the year. The industry and sport of snow bike riding is growing and growing rapidly. How much room for growth remains to be seen? How many more companies will build kits? How many companies will build full-up snow bikes? And how many people will take up the sport are all questions that only time will answer. For now, we know we will continue to see more snow bikes on the snow this winter.